Hi, my name is Kristen Smith, and I am an oil painter by heart. I am a pediatric cardiac sonographer by career, um, which means I do ultrasounds of babies' hearts in the Children's Hospital. Um, and I have a genetic connective tissue disorder, so I see the um, other side of the medical world often as well. So when I heard about this um, show, I was really excited to want to be part of it um, because it hits a lot of things that hit home for me. Um, today I'd like to submit two different paintings that I've done um, and I'll do zoom up close ups in a second. But the first one's called Glow Up and it's this floral painting right here. Um, and then the second one's called Kentucky Go Lucky and I'll explain why in just a minute. Um, but first I'll get started with um, the Glow Up. So I'm gonna try to turn I don't know how to turn the camera around, so we're just going to, um, this is the glow up piece and it's, um, oil and oil and pasto and, um, a little bit of sand resin and, um, it was created during the, right during the COVID pandemic. I will say that neither of these paintings were done with this show in mind specifically because I didn't know about it, but I chose these two pieces because I think that they really reflect um, my heart during the pandemic. And, um, you know, they say that that artwork, the, the times that art was made in, you can see that, that time in those pieces. And I really think you can in these pieces. Um, this piece was, I was an engaged woman at the time and I was super excited to be married. I'm 35, so you can imagine how, how excited I was. Um, and I had been planning and planning and getting all the things together for my wedding and then COVID hit. Um, so being, having a chronic um, healthcare issue, I was told I was high risk during COVID due to inborn error of metabolism. Um, so that was very terrifying and I obviously had our whole family, everyone in the whole world had to put everything on pause um, and I had to put our wedding on pause. So um, all of my dreams and all of my, you know, plans and um, floral arrangements and all the things were put on hold. So I was pretty upset and depressed and scared. Um, so I decided to put my heart on canvas instead and put all of my hopes and dreams on into a painting so it wouldn't go to waste. Um, so this was my um, kind of what, you know, I had looked online and different things and found some pieces. This is what I had wanted my floral arrangements to look like. Um, so that's why I painted this piece was to give my heart something to think about other than thinking about how sad I was about putting my wedding on hold. Um, it's called glow up because, um, you know, people always talk about the glow of the bride and everything. Um, but I don't, I didn't feel like I was glowing. I felt like it was just one other thing in the world. And, um, and I, you know, there was a lot of growing up that was being done. You know, when you get married, there's a lot of growing up, but when you get married in a pandemic, um, you really do realize why you're really getting married and that it's not about the flowers it's not about the you know, the gown it's about your husband and your family um so i certainly did have to do a little bit of glowing up um but yeah so that piece meant a lot to me and i'm glad that i'll have that piece um as a reminder of that time my second piece is called kentucky go lucky and this is it right here I'm trying to get the whole thing in view um it, it, so during that time, um, as a medical professional who would be working with high-risk COVID patients um, and being high-risk myself, I really was conflicted about my family's safety and my safety. Um, and, you know, everyone at the time was being called healthcare heroes, and I was feeling pretty ashamed because um, I had chosen to file for FMLA. Um, for several months until we could get this whole COVID thing figured out. And um, so there was a lot of internal struggle, a lot of fear. Um, but during that time, I was really blessed to be able to spend time with my kids who were in, uh, in TI. And um, we were able to do things like 
we couldn't see anyone or go anywhere, you know, touch groceries for goodness sakes. Um, but we, um, we went um, on like hiking trails away from people. And so this was um, from a picture that I took um, when we went hiking. And you can tell in the picture, there's a lot of swirling and a lot of contrast and a lot of, you know, trying to be hopeful, but, you know, really actually pretty tormented. And that's kind of like the plight of the mom trying to find positive things and learning education and when the whole world feels like it's falling around around you. Um, but I called it Kentucky Go Lucky because um, we actually are really lucky. Um, very lucky to have times with, with my children during that time. Very lucky to have a career where I could even file for FMLA. Um, very lucky to not have been afflicted with a lot of the health issues that people who had gotten COVID had gotten. Um, and there's just a lot to count my blessings for. Um, so yeah, so those are my two pieces. Um, I can't remember if I told you this is also oil um, and oil and pasto. And I think there's also some sand in this one. Usually I tend to add a little bit of texture. Um, but yeah, these are my pieces that were shaped during the COVID time and shaped due to health um, complications. Um, so I felt like maybe they would fit your show. Thank you.